Batman Kuraja Akuna Matata Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to be doing this look. Get ready with me. Everyday look. Yeah, so if you guys want to achieve this look, keep on watching. Stay tuned. Start by. <laughs> start by. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to start by um, moisturizing our face. So you know how people be like, oh, eyebrows, um, eyebrows are last, or eyebrows are first? No, eyebrows are last. Right? Me too. <laughs> but every, whenever, every time I see it on Twitter, I used to do eyebrows first, but eyebrows are last. Because Can't the eyebrows has to be like fresh, like, you know, like crisp. And I feel like when you do your makeup, it's like... So this stuff doesn't usually really blend in all the way. I just put in my foundation out. over it. Look. No, but this is literally like uh, this. It's, you guys have redness? Use this. Okay, now we gonna use, you know, <laughs> the fancy. If you're wondering what primer I use, nice. I usually don't put foundation on my forehead because the shit's a lot darker than the rest of my face, but here it goes nothing today. Look. What? Okay, now I am going to apply the concealer from MAC. It's track. I'm still blending in this foundation, so you get the memo. If your skin's not extremely dry, do not use ponds. My shit be fucking dry, even if I could, like, even if I, um, I can only use ponds as, like, an overnight cream, because it's too oily. Well, yeah, actually, you're right. Actually, you're right, because, well, it depends on what look I'm trying to achieve. If I'm going to go out, I don't use ponds, because I'm going to sweat. Not like yeah. But, if I'm going to, but lately, my face has been dry as hell, so... Especially if you're using a fucking um, dewy foundation. Okay, I'm not about to say that after the video. Cause... Yeah. Yeah. You know what's hella funny to me when I'm watching make, uh, makeup videos? The transformation. Oh, yeah. Really be real. So right now I'm going to use the LA Pro Concealer for under my eyes. I don't contour my nose, but a good trick is if you bring the highlighter all the way up like to the bridge of your nose, well not the bridge of your nose, but like all the way up to your nose, like right here, <laughs> and right here, so you don't have to um, 
put like a darker foundation in between because I hate doing that shit. It makes my my nose look like I have that six surgery. I can't contour my nose. My nose is too small. So we do contour. Like? <laughs> Literally disappear. That's why when I'm putting highlighter under my eyes, I try to be really careful to not get on the bridge of my nose. Or not the bridge, but the side of my nose is, but it always gets there. I just go over it with foundation. Because it will literally be non-existent. I really hate when people be bagging on Tory Lanez, like, haters. He's really, like, they go. But y'all be bumping him though. <laughs> okay. See, it looks like I contoured my nose. But I didn't. I don't really feel like I highlighted under my eyes because I didn't use my lightest concealer, but this is an everyday look, so whatever. Number one key is to blend. I don't care. 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 Cause I be seeing some females their makeup be you know it's all right but y'all need to blend. You still? Yep. Blend, blend, blend. Okay. So now I have to see. I need to get a full coverage concealer for days like this like this area right here is just super red and starting to break out <laughs> um i'm going to contour my face but not like hella because i don't really care you know it's like it's not going to be like So I'm going into setting my face now. I use the um the Maybelline loose powder, I think in neutral, to just set my face all over. And I don't bake, so I just kind of just take the powder and lightly go over my face. Is it just me or your nose runs like crazy when you're when you on make makeup? When you make up, bro. Yo, my forehead. <laughs> Beaming. Like teach them. Teach them. Beaming. How to. Contour? That should disappear. I still don't really know how to contour my forehead. That's the problem. That's why I just usually don't put foundation on my forehead. I don't really contour my forehead like that because I have like no forehead. But blessed. I do anyway because I be concealing my forehead, so I need to like you know have that balance or whatever. So. So now that I'm done setting my face with the um. Maybelline powder. Oh, and do not forget underneath your chin or your chin area. <laughs> you gotta blend. I'm telling you, blending is key to having flawless look. Now I'm gonna go in and do my eyebrows. So now I'm going to um, set my um, under eyes, but I don't really like baking. I just literally like to use bare minimum because I crease a lot, especially like my lap lines and underneath my eyes. So I dip my brush in the powder and then like I literally I barely have any on here. doing my eyebrow with so much pressure but I feel like when you don't care and you're not like it has to be perfect is what it, like, yeah 
cut. So now, the only thing I really have left to do is conceal my eyebrows. Same. Oh, you have that too? What color yeah. do you have? Uh, mine's the NC35. Mine's the NC42. Yeah, what? so I use the uh, NC35 Studio Finish Concealer by MAC to conceal under my eyebrows. I don't use it under my eyes because it's not lighter than my skin color. Like, it's... Genius. It's my skin color, so I just use it to conceal under my eyebrows. Okay. Did you like this song? I listen to this song. Um. No comment. It's no. A cool song. What the it's fuck? A cool song. It's straight. You see this? Now I gotta blend. I love using this brush. I stole it from what grade were we in? From what was the Wait, name of the teacher? I'm using the same exact brush. From the painting, yes, our painting class. Um, or what's his name? Ceramics. Um, bro, why did Gunna say he seen him the other day at Dick's? And I was like, oh my god. Yeah, uh, Mr. Gooden. Yeah, I stole a painting brush from his room. Why do we still have it? We graduated because it's, four years it's ago. It's so good. Like even the hair is really soft. So, I'm done um, shaping my eyebrows, so now I'm just gonna blend out the concealer. Oh, I found this really cute. Hi. Say hi to our video. <laughs> Yo, yeah. Yeah, I'm creasing so bad right now. This is not okay. And I never really crease, so thanks to the pawns. I know there's different kinds of pawns moisturizers, so maybe it's just this one's just too much for my skin. But I'm gonna try to go over it with the translucent um, powder and set under my eyes. Is there like a brush that you always lose? Yeah, my eyebrow brush. I always freaking lose my eyeshadow blending brush all like all the time. And then when I'm done, oh, bitch. <laughs> I'm going in with my um Derma Blend translucent powder under my eyes because they just they're just creasing like crazy. So. I like to push the powder in and then just brush it off instead of it like baking. Yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna spray my face. Yeah, I know. I've been getting it drenched. Actually, let me use that because that one this? sprays more. Yeah, I wasn't yeah. expecting it. Because that one's like misty. Alright. <laughs> I told you. Okay, so I use the MAC um, mascara. It's like the best mascara ever. It is. But if you want to be on a budget, you get the Maybelline, the Shayla line. Oh, you have that? Mm -hmm. Does it work? Good? Big shot. I barely have lashes under my eyes, so I just try to work with whatever it is that is there. So now I'm going to highlight my face with the um, Amrezy collection. The Amrezy collection, um, Anastasia. I'm taking the um, NYX lip liner and moi. I'm just lining my lips. I usually just use a clear lip gloss or um, 
Fight by MAC, but I don't have neither of them with me. Oh yeah, I gotta do my highlighter. So, I will be using, where is it at? Um, my MAC Global Glow. Or, no, this is not it. Where's mine? Yeah, so I'm going to be using MAC Global Glow Highlighter. I've been using this for years. It's one of my favorites.